Hi everyone, Stockmo here with Tesla Cat. He hasn't made an appearance in a while. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and we're gonna start out by cheering everybody up who had some, uh, you can tell old Tesla Cat here. He can he, there you go, I'll give you a really good look at him. You don't usually get that. That's the old Tesla Cat look. So today, we're gonna talk about a couple things. I'm buying some stocks, I've made my mind. These stocks are getting to prices that I really like, and they're gonna be in the EV sector. I think you're gonna see some of these companies have been taking a beating. We're talking Tesla, Neo, and of course, we have the new Lucid. I think the ticker's now gonna be LCID coming out post-merger quarter two, but I do see some big things happening after that. As we move into the different quarters, I think these stocks are gonna rebound quickly. I said during Q2, Q3, I thought there'd be big rebounds, and we're gonna discuss all that. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I am Stockmo. I'm an old financial advisor slash broker slash educator comes on here and just tries to share all that experience with you. I might not be perfect, but I do try to do my best. Uh, now all I ask, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit notification, hit all. I will bring you the best research I can and share my stock picks. I'll do them slowly but surely, but if you wanna see all of them, I have it over at the Patreon and you can click on that in the description, come over and join me and you're gonna see all kinds of things there like cattails walking around and all kinds of good things as they're, he's waking up and he's doing his thing. So I do have a, a private discord for all the members who are part of the Patreon and we just go over stocks. Like at last night and yesterday was a crazy time with the CCIV merger with Lucid and that's something that we always, we, you know, we try to help each other through those moments. And I also have a link down below to Weeble. If you wanna get two free stocks worth up to $1,850, all you gotta do is put 100 bucks in there and they will give you those two free stocks and hopefully they add up to 1,850, we don't know. Uh, but at the end of the day, I get one free share because I'm an affiliate. We're all gonna get something for free and that's what it's all about. Uh, now let's get into it today. What's going on? What's going on? A lot of people had a rough night last night. I know I did. It was like it, anybody that knows and follows this channel knows the CCIV is my largest position that I have ever owned in an individual stock, not a in, a in a company. Now I've had ETS with more, but I'm talking for one company. I've never held this much and it was quite a ride. And we've been in this since January 14th and I'm gonna be in it for years and years, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. Let's go ahead and start with the penny stock portfolio. You can see where we're at here, 17445 before today. This updates around 945, 950, and it all does it automatically, a ton of work. But it looks really good. We're only a month into this, and we're up $17,000 on our original $40,000 investment. We added a few extra stocks. I'll be buying a new stock today. If you wanna be a part of all that, come join me at the Patreon. Like I said, I do give out my picks as I do them. I, tell, I let little notifications out to everyone. And the next thing we have is the YouTube portfolio. This is not going to look as good. This thing is going to drop by quite a bit because of this. We are going to lose out on about 2,000 here. Put us down around 4%, I'm going to say, 5%. And we'll see, though, because I do think the market's going to start to recover shortly. After yesterday, we had that big 2.5%. There's usually a little bit of a recovery, and we'll see how that works out. Now, uh, here's where we're at today. Everybody, I'm talking about three stocks. You can see them right there. Churchill Capital, NEO stock price prediction. I'm going to have my Tesla stock price prediction. At the end of the day, I made my decision that after watching these, that I am most likely going to start today by purchasing and dollar cost averaging into a even larger position now. And now I, am, I have my positions and I thought uh, with the Churchill Capital, I may buy a little bit, not much, because I'm already, it's already my largest position by far. And like when I bought into this, I actually bought, had it be the largest position by capital almost as my Neo and Tesla. And then after it started going up multiples, it's actually up almost three times of our money at one time. I think it was uh, 60 something dollars a share I got in in the teens, so we were up a ton. Now we're still up, but this stock is down around 40 bucks. That is where it was. Now we'll see what the market does. I, I'm gonna go by what happens in the live market and we'll see what happens because once the, uh, the, the selling happens and the institutional buyers make up their minds, they're coming in. I think over the next 72 hours of trading, that you will see a lot of movement in the stock. Volumes will slow down and you're gonna get stabilization and more and more people entering into it. 
The stocks that really have my attention right now are Neo and Tesla. I am huge on the EV sector. I think the EV sector is going to explode over the next five to 10 years. So my goal is always to maximize my portfolio for those, lo those longer term gains, if that makes sense. Take advantage of that billions and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars that are gonna be spent in this industry. And I wanna jump on the companies that I think are gonna lead it. I do think Neo is gonna lead it. I think Tesla is gonna lead it. And I do think Lucid is going to be in there. So you're gonna have the three musketeers I decided to make sure my portfolios are pretty much evened out. So what I'm missing out on in that sector is I need to add some more NEO and I need to add some more Tesla. And so I've decided that these prices, as they have dropped, if we look at the, the, the where it was $62, it's all the way down to 50 now. That is a drop of $12 a share or getting roughly close to that 20% mark that makes me wanna buy in. So I'm probably gonna be adding in some positions today into my personal portfolio. Now I'll let everybody at the Patreon know if I do that, it's not gonna be added into the other portfolios because I have them stabilized with the even positions like I like to do. But I I think I will be adding some more NEO for those wondering how I feel about this and dollar cost averaging into a, another position. And in other words, I'm gonna be adding more to it. And the same thing with Tesla, I am going to take a look. If I look at the six month of Tesla, you can see from the highs, 880, anytime I get down more than 20%, it makes me wanna start dollar cost averaging into a new position. We hit that. 20% roughly, we're almost there. And so that's why I'm saying when I'm looking at this stock, I'm feeling pretty good. And like we got in way back, way back. And so when you're in here and it's all the way up here, you can see where you're at. And of course I'd still be dollar cost averaging my price higher by buying in even at this price, but I do like the drop from the 20%. And I do think this stock has a lot of room to run over the next few years, especially Tesla, Neo and now CCIV with Lucid. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering what I'm thinking, what's going on with NEO? Well, they have earnings day coming up. NEO has earning days, earnings day coming up very soon. I believe it is on March 1st after the bell or after the closing bell. I'd have to take a double look at that, but I think those earnings are gonna come out fantastic. Remember, this is all through a pandemic. They did all, they're breaking records for themselves. They're doing good things. And so when you think about NEO and where you see it going, remember, we are still in that rough period. Everybody's jumping in the market. It's, the volatility is crazy. You're seeing the market go up, you know, two, 3% a day, down two, 3% a day. Last time I seen that happen was all the way back in March when the pandemic hit and you saw all that volatility. Now, that's kind of gone away. And then it, we had that big bull run and now we're back to everybody jumping in again. We're at highs, everybody wants to invest. And that creates a lot of volatility and we're seeing that volatility play out now. But unlike the crash of 40% down, 30% down back then, you, I, we're not gonna see that. I, I'm calling a maximum of around 10%. I thought a five to 10% pullback overall. I don't even know if it has to get down that low. Last time it was only 6% a couple weeks ago. But if it does get down, I thought 10% would probably be about as low as you would see the market go overall. And then you would see a nice V-shaped recovery, especially middle to late Q2, all the way through the end of this year with the stimulus package, people getting their $1,400 checks, just money going out to businesses, traveling again, everything's gonna pick right back up. I read an article out there saying anybody who wanted a vaccine could have a vaccine by the end of July. I, I'm hoping that holds true. If that is the case, you are going to see these, this economy explode with all the money they're spending, as well as uh, just all the pent up demand and everything that's going on. And that's why I'm excited about this. So I am gonna keep adding every red day, that last red day, I'm already looking at stocks to buy for the, for the day and taking advantage of a penny stock, a couple value. I would say uh, these growth stocks that I see here. And so I do see good numbers coming out for NEO. I see Tesla, you have ARC still buying into them for good reason, because this company is going to be huge. It's gonna be a multi-trillion dollar company eventually. Right now we are seeing it at 685, 685 billion market cap. Remember what I said, I always thought it was gonna hit a trillion at the end of 2022. And I, and I thought it would hit 650 billion by the end of this year, 1 trillion by the end of 2022, for those who watch my old videos. So uh, we'll see, because obviously it's already worth over 650 billion now. And I thought that would happen at the end of 2021. That inclusion took that from here all the way up. And so we had that. So that's why I'm dollar cost averaging in. So I'm gonna take a few bucks, if you will, and then 
buy that over the next few weeks. I'm gonna buy some every certain, probably every Tuesday over the next four to eight weeks. And I think after that, we'll have our next bull run. And then that stock should just easily pay for itself for me. And that's my goal. So that's what I'm looking at with all these different stocks, where I see this going. And um, I see big things coming for the EV industry. If you see that, if you're buying these to day trade and stuff, these are probably not gonna be the right stocks for you. I don't have any options out there on anything. I haven't done that in years. I usually stick to my leverage funds as well as just the straight stocks. But I'm gonna tell you something. I'm actually looking into some options for these, some leaps. I might wanna take advantage of Tesla, NEO, and Churchill Capital, CCIV, soon to be LCID, and take advantage of that and see what we can do because I do think these stocks could go multiples in the next few year to two. So we will see, and I'll let you know if I do that, if I pull that trigger. I haven't done an option in a long time. And uh, I like to actually hold the stocks and have them fundamentals pay for themselves and know that the long term should reward us. But uh, these are ones that I do feel good about. So we'll see. I'll let you know if I do buy into them. So that's what I got for you today. Like I said, take advantage of the two free stocks down below from Weeble. I greatly appreciate when you do that. And of course, come over and join me at the Patreon. And you can come over there and join our private Discord once you get in there. It's good stuff. A lot of good people over there helping each other take our, our portfolios to that next level, reaching that financial freedom we're all shooting for. I appreciate everybody coming over here. Now let's get out there and make some money.